Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'll be showing you another video of how to use the Excel sheets that are available on the website. And the topic that we'll be discussing today is uh, binomial option pricing, and in particular um, in relation to the stocks. So we will be pricing options that are written on stocks. This material appears only in level 2, so if you want to find the Excel sheet or the reading that's related to this uh, material, you'll have to go to level 2 on the website. So the binomial, uh, the binomial model is one of the models that can be used to uh, price options and it's basically a simple model that assumes that there are two states of the world. Uh, so basically the stock price today in a period, and the period could be defined in whatever way uh, the analyst defined it to be. So in a one period time the stock price either goes up or down. And uh, it assumes that this the the following uh, formulas are calculated for the probability of up and down movements, and if d is not specified here, if the probability of not uh, down movement is not specified, then we use the formula that's given over here. Uh, it says basically after all after finding the path of prices and finding the call option call price the call payoff at the end of. Uh, in the last period, uh, going through backward induction, the call option price would be the formula that you have over here. It's a weighted uh, average of the prices of uh, in each state, discounted back to the current to the uh, present value. The weights are the neutral probabilities, which could be defined as in the formula over here. And then finally, uh, part of the material, and uh, the, the material we show that how can we build a hedging portfolio by uh, using the number of units, by showing how, how to calculate the number of units that could be used to purchase or uh, sell, depending on the position that you have in the option. So the, this is just a summary of the what you can find in the Excel sheet. The whole material, the whole explanation of how these formulas are calculated is um, available on the website and the reading and the link to that uh, article, to that reading is available below the video. Let's take a look at the example that we have and actually this is one of the questions that were posted in the CFA Daily Trivia. Um, if you check it every now and then you might have seen this question before. So assuming the two period binomial model with a probability of up movement of 30%, probability of down movement of 23%, if the stock price is 42 and the risk free rate is 4%, the price of a European call option with a strike price of $40 is the closest to, and you have a couple of options here. So if you were to calculate the question, if you have seen this question and you did the math and then you want to double check your answer, you go to the Excel sheet that's here. And the Excel sheet that we have over here is just uh, just shows it for four periods. Matter of fact, uh, the explanation that you have in the textbook is just for up to two periods. But this is even more advanced than what you actually gonna get in the exams or in the um, or you can see from the textbook. So probability of up movement is thirty percent, and it's formatted as a percent. So you just enter that as this twenty three. Option type is a call. Stack price is. Uh, 40 and current stack price is 42 the risk free rate is 4% and we choose between up to 4 periods and we have the number of periods to be 2 so this shows over here the stack price path over time so how stack price develops over the next period and the period after and this one shows you the bi option binomial tree which shows you a European call with a strike price of 40 and a stack price of 42 the numbers over here show you the option price at each point of time, the option value at each point of time. So it goes up from up to uh, 30.98, 2.040 in the last period. And then the, the option price over here is found uh, at 16.14 if the stock is in the good state. Or if the stock price or the market is in the bad state, then it's 1. And the option today is worth 8.38. The numbers below show you the the ones in the red um, show you the uh, number the hedging uh, ratio. So this is n basically, this is n plus, this is n minus. Over here you find the remaining this is a summary of the results which shows you the risk neutral probability of up movement. It shows you the European call price and the initial hedge ratio, the lower up pricing pound and upper pricing pound. 
For more information about the lower pricing bound and upper pricing bound, um, click on the link related to the option pricing boundaries, which is the material related to level one. But basically, shows you over here that the price that we got is within the lower and upper pricing bound, so it could be an accurate uh, pricing model if the data is uh, if the data is right. The answer is B, as we saw, and. This is pretty much it about this reading. If you have any question, please make sure to email me at uh, my email and make sure to subscribe to the channel, follow the blog in order to get notified about each new post and follow us on our social networks to be able to participate in the daily CFA trivia. Thank you all for listening and goodbye.